I welcome you to the Messiah Revelation Ministry preparing the world for the arrival of the Messiah. If you are watching this video, don't be offended when I repeat the warning. The warning is that the final trumpet of heaven has sounded. That is the basis of my ministry, the sounding of the final trumpet of heaven as revealed to me in a vision that I had on August 27, 2013. The fact that the Messiah has not come doesn't mean that he is not coming. Uh, he has a day appointed in Hebrews 9.28 talks about the day that is appointed for the Messiah, Yeshua, to come the second time for those who are waiting on him. But you have to remember that we are living in the days of the sounding of the final trumpet of heaven. There are seven trumpets of heaven and by revelation the last one has sounded at least in the spiritual realm and our message today is based upon the theme, a finger away from Armageddon. A finger, only one finger away from Armageddon. What does it mean? It means that in the world we are living now, the world will go into Armageddon because of a finger of a man on a button nuclear button, a finger, on a code, on an instrument, on a device, that man, and I know it will not be a woman, I'm sorry to say that, because we are living in a male chauvinist world. Uh, of course, women, they don't even have the right to vote in the United States. We are talking about a finger of a man, and that finger will be on a trigger, and that trigger will detonate nuclear bombs, and it will lead into Armageddon. And it's very rare, and we are saying we are a finger away from that. And the Bible is very clear how the world uh, will be destroyed. The world was destroyed with flood the first time in the days of Noah. And the Lord says that He is not going to destroy the world again with flood. Uh, the, uh, the Gospel of Apostle Peter is very clear that the world that we see and the contents in the world, the material things in the world, they will melt and they will be destroyed all fire and the fire is coming the lake of fire is coming but before that time lucifer and his agents are preparing for premature ending of the world a premature ending of the world it means that somebody will put his finger on a trigger in, to trigger Armageddon, a finger on a trigger, one person, and he is a leader of a nation. And the question you are asking is, um, why would that leader do that? Why would somebody put his finger on a button to destroy the world? It's very simple. There was a gentleman by name Judas Iscariot. He was very close to the Messiah. He held a privileged position in the camp of the Messiah. But the gospel is very clear. One day, Satan entered into Judas, and the whole thing changed. And he betrayed the Messiah for 30 pieces 
30 pieces of silver and he regretted. He died before the Messiah because he committed suicide. Uh, in the end of days, Lucifer will indwell somebody. He will indwell the man of sin, the son of perdition, the man of lawlessness, the Antichrist. A day will come when Lucifer will do that. A day will come when Lucifer will put his hand on the trigger and he will indwell someone who is a president, who is a commander-in-chief. And that person will do that. And that leader, the kings of the earth, uh, they do what they want to do. And they justify it. I will call them presidential doctrines. It is a decree. And so in the United States, you can talk about some of these presidential doctrines. We begin with Monroe Doctrine, articulated by American President Monroe around 1823. The Western Hemisphere was, was within the backyard of the United States, and no European nation can interfere in Western Hemisphere. So Western Hemisphere belongs to America. And they protected their interests in the Western Hemisphere. And as a result of the Monroe Doctrine, a presidential doctrine, America intervened in the politics of Central America, Latin America for centuries, intervening, even killing leaders and cheating the nations. That was Monroe Doctrine. No one can interfere in the Western Hemisphere. American companies should exploit Western Hemisphere. The Western Hemisphere is part of the backyard of America. And the, the leaders in the Western Hemisphere, uh, they were bought by America, including a leader of a country. America called the, that leader an S-O-B, son of a B dot 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 son of a B. They said that leader is a son of a B, but he is American son of a B. So he's not good. He's an S O B, but he's an American S O B. American trained him to be an S O B, to be a puppet. And that is a doctrine that you support dictatorship as long as they satisfy American interests. And Isaiah 5.20 is very clear. Woe unto you who say evil is good and you say good is evil. You say bitter is sweet and you say sweet is bitter. You say light is darkness and you say darkness is light. And so it goes. And so a finger is close to the trigger. And these people, the leaders, are those who say bad is good and good is bad. And they have a curse on them. The Isaiah 520 curse is on them. We're talking about the moral doctrine. Later on, America also had the Truman Doctrine, articulated by Harry Truman, 1952. America will not allow any communist influence in her backyard. And the first time America implemented the uh, Truman Doctrine was in 1954, when America intervened in Guatemala and overthrew uh, the government of Guatemala because America accused Guatemala of being uh, affiliated with uh, communist uh, Soviet Union. And Guatemala had a coup in 1954. President Obans was, um, he was taken out of office. That was 
the Truman Doctrine of Containment Containing Soviet Union. And the Soviet Union also had their own doctrine. And that is the Brezhnev Doctrine. An attack on a socialist country will be considered as an attack on the Soviet Union herself. And the Soviet Union will come in. And so we have the Containment Doctrine and the Truman Doctrine working uh, together. And we saw the devastation that went on in Latin America, in Africa, Asia, and the Middle East. America, in, in pursuing the policy of containment, destroyed African economies, economies in Latin America, engaged in killings, supported apartheid regime in South Africa, because apartheid was good for America. As long as South Africa was not in the orbit of the Soviet Union. That is the doctrine of containment containing the uh, Soviet Union. And African heroes were considered um, communist. Martin Luther King was considered communist and he was subjected to a lot of harassment. Anti on American committee, the McCarthy committee targeting Reverend Martin Luther King accusing him of being a sympathizer of Russia. Nelson Mandela was the same. Patrice Lumumba, the nationalist in Congo, uh, he was killed and his body was put in acid. And that was because of a doctrine of man, presidential uh, doctrines. In 1945 came and America had a doctrine, the use of nuclear weapons. And they check around and they saw that they have a yellow people, uh, people whose skin color is yellow. They will use the nuclear weapon on them. And they use it in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. And then another doctrine came, a satanic doctrine, the doctrine of mutual assured destruction. It means that if you attempt to destroy America, and then you also be destroyed. The whole world will be destroyed. Uh, if you attempt to destroy uh, Soviet Union, Russia, then you yourself will be destroyed and the whole world will be destroyed. And the Soviet Union even went further. They developed a system, a defensive system, where they were guaranteeing that even if the last soldier in Russia died, Russia will be able to defend herself uh, because there's a dead man's switch. It will be triggered. The last person um, who dies uh, doesn't mean that the Soviet Union will be defeated. Dead man's switch. And that brings into the minds of the Russians um, superiority complex, um, complacency illusion of invisibility. They are not defeatable, they are invisible because they have a dead man switch. And the Israelis also have a nuclear doctrine, something option, and they will use it. And if they believe that the assistance of Israel is under threat. And when you are talking about the something option, Go into the Bible and see Samson. Samson was powerless. His power had gone away from him. And he was blinded. His eyes had been taken away. He was ready to die because he doesn't have anything worthy to live for. They were going to kill him. And when he knew that he was going to be killed, he decided to kill all the people around him. And so on that day, Samson killed more people on that day than he killed throughout his life. And so when somebody is talking about Samson option, Samson option, you know that that person is ready to die. The president whose finger is on the trigger is ready to die. 
because he will die like Samson. That's why Israel calls their policy the Samson option. Then you have collective defense doctrine. And here we're talking about Article 5 of NATO. If you attack even an inch of NATO, NATO territory, it will be considered as an attack on the whole NATO. And so if you attack any one of the 30 member NATO, it will be tantamount to, or it will be construed as an attack on um, all the NATO uh, nations. And that is Article 5 of NATO. Article 5 is a suicide article. It's an article for destroying the world. Because once Article 5 is invoked, and the NATO powers will be at war with the enemy nation. And of course, Article 5 is pointing towards Russia. And so when will Article 5 be invoked? When will Russia attack an inch of NATO territory? When will Russia attack a NATO member? Of course, there's a proxy war going on in Ukraine and russia is indirectly fighting nato and ukraine is a proxy and so we are close to armageddon the finger is close to the trigger the finger is close to armageddon we have nato troops and russia is saying that there are red lines if nato troops enter ukraine then Russia will be considered, uh, will, will, will consider that as an act of war by NATO and Russia will respond. And Russia uh, has threatened to respond nuclear. So the first red line, NATO troops in Ukraine. Uh, the second red line, if Russia finds out that her existence is under threat, if Russia is facing an existential threat, are we close to Armageddon? Is the finger close to the trigger? Existential threat of Russia. NATO imposed a sanction on Russia, very, very comprehensive. Probably one of the most comprehensive sanctions um, the world has ever seen against Russia. Is Russia facing existential threat? And you also see um, NATO maneuvers uh, around the borders of Russia, close to Russia. And recently you even saw cyber attacks inside Russia. You saw one of the residences of Putin set on fire. And no, not only that, you also heard about Ukraine attacking nuclear radars in Russia, not once, but several times. The radars that will tell Russia that missiles are, in, are coming, they are incoming. Um, Ukraine destroyed uh, some of those radars. And is the finger of Putin close to the trigger when his house is set on fire uh, is russia facing an existential threat then we go to another um another red line f-16 aircraft uh, putin said that it will not uh, russia will not allow ukraine to receive f-16 fighters from nato why because F-16 has special capabilities. Um, they are able to carry uh, nuclear uh, weapons. And Russia is saying that it will consider F-16 as potentially carrying nuclear weapons and Russia will invoke her nuclear doctrine. Is the finger closed to the trigger. F-16, if F-16 are given to Ukraine and they are coming, uh, will Russia use nuclear weapons? 
of course that's what Russia is saying. They are saying that they will consider F-16 as a nuclear device, a nuclear um, weapon. And of course, they will not fight nuclear weapons or conventional weapons. They will use their nukes. It's the finger of Putin on the trigger. And not, not long ago, uh, you also saw Russia deploying tactical nukes around the border of Ukraine. And here we are talking about nuclear weapons. And the record is very clear that Russia has more tactical nukes than any country in the world. The record is clear that Russia has more strategic nuclear um, weapons than any nation in the world. And Russia has deployed tactical nukes and also has co conducted um, tactical nuclear drills. Is the finger close to the trigger? Deployment of tactical nukes. And America is not sitting uh, idle. Uh, you are also aware. Um, May. 2024, you should know what is going on. American testing intercontinental ballistic missiles. Um, America's flagship I, uh, CBM is the Minute Man 3, and it has been tested. Uh, the last time they tested it, uh, it failed, it didn't work. And so um, that is a warning, and they have been testing it. And of course, Russia also has tested uh, her weapons and as you know russia has what they call satan 2 missiles and satan 2 um, is capable of destroying a territory as large as france a territory as large as texas a territory as large as um, united kingdom russia has poisidon nuclear drones and they are capable of wiping entire coastal cities like the eastern coast, the western coast uh, of the United States. And so what is happening? Uh, you see the finger is closer to the trigger because cyber warfare is going on and you can call it cyber pandemic food processing facilities in America destroyed, industries uh, destroyed, uh, communication system um, hijacked, uh, in, uh, interrupted uh, in America. And not long ago, you also heard that a key bridge in Baltimore, Francis Scott Key Bridge, it was destroyed and we are not sure why it was destroyed and how it was destroyed uh, but you can put one and one together and one and one put together is two but some people will say that one and one put together is unknown and so we are not sure and uh, we, we don't want to go far but there's no smoke without fire cyber warfare is going on and you should not be surprised. You should not be surprised because the Lord reveals before events happen. And so as we are talking about a finger close to the trigger, a finger close to a megadon, uh, we need to relate it to some visions that I had in 2018, um, a vision where I was driving in that vision in the U.S., and there was a radio announcement that Russia was going to uh, strike the United States within 30 minutes time. The other vision, I saw somebody with a KGB experience holding two sticks, long one and short one. And he threw the long one and also gave the short one to somebody else. Symbolic interpretation, the long one is a long range missile and it was used, deployed by somebody with a KGB experience in the vision. 
And you don't have to be a rocket scientist to know that when you are talking about the KGB, you are talking about Russia. You don't have to be a rocket scientist uh, to know that Putin has KGB experience. And so Putin is an end time player. And symbolically, he represents a finger close to the trigger. And that's why it's, it's important that as we are living in this world, you have to know that we are a finger close to the trigger, a finger close to uh, Armageddon. And don't trust any leader because the leaders of the New World Order, uh, they are members of the Freemason. They have an agenda. The founding fathers of America have an agenda for America. They have a pyramid that is unfinished um, on, on the on American calendar, uh, American uh, dollar. Um, of course, the founding fathers of America uh, prepared America for an end time assignment, and that is a new world order. And don't trust anybody. Uh, somebody will put his finger on the trigger uh, because he's ready to that he's ready to uh, he, he complete a covenant that he signed with Lucifer and left to him a nuclear war will be good because it will lead to a reset r e s e t reset of the global economy and so they are provoking one another and you saw you saw macron uh, threatening to send french troops in ukraine and then you also seen attempts to give f-16 to uh, to ukraine and then you also saw uh, putin's residence on fire and then you also saw the destruction of uh, radar radar in, uh, installations radar installations that will tell russia that uh, they are incoming uh, missiles and so what are people doing they are provoking uh, the beer they are provoking the beer because they want to trigger Armageddon and that's why you must understand the time that we are in we are living under a time where the final trumpet of heaven has sounded as the Messiah is preparing to come we need to prepare for our salvation we need to repent and uh, someone will prepare and buy more food buy electrical gadgets and put money uh, in pillows under their bed but that is not the best way to prepare because Sephaniah has said in Sephaniah 1 verse 18 neither their gold nor silver will save them on the day of the Lord it's when you have repented and your name is written in the book of life we are a finger close to a megadon and don't let anybody fool you don't let anybody fool you when they are putting their finger on the trigger they will not let you know of course when america president engages in war of a nation he sends the missiles and later on, he informs Congress that we have sent missiles, uh, even though they are supposed to consult um, um, the, the Congress of the people. They will not do that. Nobody will tell you that they are putting their finger on the trigger. But you should know that they are about to unleash, because in one of the visions that I saw, world leaders were about to unleash whatever they were about to unleash I'm not sure but you should know that the evidence in the world is very clear that we are a finger close to the trigger I'm not sure whether the finger is the finger of Biden or the finger of Trump or the finger of Putin but there is a finger close to the trigger and we are a finger away from Armageddon. Thank you. Repent and prepare for the dark days that are coming so that you will not be in darkness. You will be a son, a daughter of light.
and the light of this world is coming he is yeshua the messiah jesus christ of nazareth thank you for watching this video